Today we are going to talk about the $418 million National Association of Realtors real estate settlement. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in New Braunfels, Texas and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below and tap that bell notification so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in New Braunfels. My name is Yitzhak and I get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make their move to New Braunfels and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in 9 days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom call. I'm happy to help you make your next move a smooth process. So let's hop into it. First, let's talk about understanding the realities of being a realtor. The world of real estate is often portrayed in a glamorous light by media. However, the reality for real estate professionals, particularly realtors, can be quite different. My goal is to shed light on some of the misconceptions surrounding the industry and provide a glimpse into the demanding yet rewarding career path of a realtor. So let's dispel the myth of NAR controlled commissions. One prevalent misconception is the National Association of Realtors, NAR, dictates what a real estate agent gets paid. This is simply untrue. Realtor commissions are established through negotiation between the listing agent, who's representing the seller, and the seller themselves. Currently, the agreed upon commission is then incorporated into the listing on the MLS, the multiple listing service. In scenarios where the seller opts not to offer a buyer's agent commission, the buyer may be responsible for covering this cost. So now let's talk about the upcoming changes to the buyer agent commission disclosure. As of July 2024, there will be some adjustments to how buyer agent commissions are presented. While sellers will still have the option to offer the compensation to a buyer's agent for bringing a qualified buyer to the table, this information will no longer be explicitly displayed on the MLS. Additionally, realtors will be required to have a written agreement in place when working with buyers. For states like Texas, where buyer representation agreements are commonplace, this change may not be so significant. The buyer's representation already states the below verbiage on paragraph 11. Paragraph 11 goes over broker's fees. 11-B says source of commission payment. Broker will seek to obtain payment of the commission specified in paragraph 11-A first from the seller, landlord, or their agents. If such persons refuse or fail to pay broker the amount specified, client will pay broker the amount specified less any amounts broker receives from such persons. That specific paragraph is underlined and in bold letterings in the buyer's rep agreement. Okay, so now let's discuss why consumer awareness is crucial regardless of the upcoming changes. It's essential for consumers to stay informed about the real estate landscape. Understanding these nuances empowers you to make informed decisions when buying or selling a property. Now let's touch on the realities of a realtor's income. The median income for a full-time realtor working over 40 hours a week is around 31,900 annually. This falls short of the national living wage. Realtors are not salaried employees. They only get paid when a property successfully closes. Their earnings depend on broker splits, commissions, and a number of transactions they complete. The daily grind of a realtor is far from a nine to five job. They constantly hustle to find clients, secure listings, and navigate the complexities of real estate transactions. This often translates to long hours, missed family events, and significant upfront expenses. Speaking of those expenses, let's dive into the unseen costs of being a realtor. Realtors shoulder a multitude of financial burdens before they even see a dime from a closed deal. These expenses include, but are not limited to, broker splits and fees, office rent and utilities, MLS fees, NAR fees, local association fees, errors and omissions, business insurance, extended auto insurance, self-employment tax, state licensing fees, advertising fees, showing service fees, 
website fees, assistant salaries, showing partners, transaction coordinator, yard signs, photographers, videographers, office supplies, business cards, property flyers, electronic lock boxes, and continued real estate education, legal fees, and gas. Okay, and don't forget, income taxes are not taken out, so they have to set aside around 25 to 30%. And don't forget, health insurance if they don't have a spouse who provides it. I know that was a lot, but I'm just trying to give you a scope of what the fees related are to doing business. So let's talk about the multifaceted role of a buyer's agent. Contrary to popular belief, buyer's agents don't simply just show houses. Their responsibilities encompass a vast array of tasks, including but not limited to scheduling times to meet buyers, prepare buyer's guide and presentation, meet buyers and discuss their goals, explain buyer-seller agency relationship, discuss different types of financing and option, introducing them to a mortgage lender, obtaining a pre-approval letter from their lender, explaining what they do for buyers as a realtor, providing an overview of current market conditions, explaining our company's value to the buyers, discussing the earnest money and deposits, explaining timelines, the home inspection process, educating buyers about the neighborhood, discussing floor closure, foreclosures and short sale options, um, you know, explaining how school districts affect on home values, explaining the recording devices during show, showings, uh, learning all of the buyer's goals to make a plan, um, sending the buyer's homes within their criteria, showing the homes that they request, scheduling and organizing the showings, uh, gathering showing instructions for each listing, sending out the schedule to the buyers, uh, showing up early to prepare for the showing, looking at the possible repairs while we're going through the showing, gathering buyer feedback. The list goes on and on. I wrote a full article on this that lists, you know, there's about 95 things that we do just that I could think of off of the top of my head. I don't want to go through them all on here because I know it's a lot, but I just wanted to give you a scope of what a buyer's agent does for you. They work for you. They are your advocate. You, the seller's agent represents the seller and their best interest. A buyer's agent represents you and your best interest. It's also, a, you may only do something as the buyer uh, once every five to seven years, depending on how frequently you're buying and moving, but a buyer's agent, if it's their full-time job, they have the experience and the daily reps that they've put in to understand the intricacies of each Thing going on in the transaction. They're a project manager for you. They coordinate between all parties to make sure that everything gets done on time, that you don't lose money, and that you get the best deal possible on the home that you love. And another thing that they do is after you close, they help you remember what you should be doing. If it's your primary residence, they should be helping you get your uh, the homestead exemption filed, like having, reminding you to change your address. All of these little things make a big difference and can save you a lot of money. So in conclusion, the world of real estate is a complex and dynamic one. By dispelling misconceptions and understanding the realities of the industry, consumers can navigate the home buying or selling process with greater confidence. Realtors play a crucial role in facilitating successful real estate transactions and their dedication deserves recognition. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, again, I'll put the link to the article in the comment section in the, in the section below. Um, please stay tuned for my next video and reach out to you, me, reach out to me if you have any questions about anything going on in the real estate industry, about commissions, about buyer's agents, about seller agents. I'm here to help and to serve you. Until next time, have a great day.